This is a Christmas story, though it doesn't really start out like most Christmas stories. For one, it's not Christmas or even winter. It's summer. I, I read it's winter down in Australia during the summer here in the States, which means it'll, it'll be their summer when we visit this winter. Oh, whoops, I'm, I'm getting way ahead of myself, sorry. I should probably start again. My name is Andy, and this van is taking my folks and me and some other people to a resort near Pismo Beach, which is on the coast between Los Angeles and the Bay Area. And our driver Mike said he knows every back road in the area. And that's Mike. At least he thought he knew every back road because we drove through this really super strange patch of fog. And when we finally came out of it, Mike was totally lost. So when we all saw the first house we'd seen in like an hour, we stopped even though I knew it wasn't the resort we were supposed to be going to. There's nothing that makes people of action crankier than being stuck in a slow moving van. And that's how the story began. Stop taking pictures for just a minute, please. Sorry, Connie. This place is so charming. Wow, this is very grand. What do you think, Andy? Andy, I'm to ask you a question. This isn't the place in the brochure. What's that, honey? This isn't the place in the brochure. You gotta be kidding me. 
An hour van ride through Backhouse Twist to Rama, and this isn't the right place? No, this isn't the resort. This is, I don't know what this place is. I should know, but I have no idea. Are you having an episode or are you just simple? Excuse me, uh, Mike, right? So do you think you can get us to the right resort or uh, maybe you need to ask directions from somebody here? I suppose, this is just weird. I'm telling you, that fog back there, I've never seen anything like it. He's having an episode. You know, that's really not helping. Well, neither is broiling in the sun. Connie, please. What? Can I help you? Um, yes, please. I was on my way to the resort up the road. At least I think it was up the road. He's lost. Oh, well, that isn't good, is it? Would anybody like some cookies? Fresh bake from the oven. Uh, directions. Kalidas needs directions. This is exactly why I never leave the city. Maybe the country just doesn't want you. Should we follow her? I mean, she probably has a phone. I don't have any reception. No, I haven't had any bars for like the past hour. We got rooked. I'm going to tear your boss. Cookies! And Andy, seriously? Mmm, this is the best cookie I've ever had. I'm so glad to hear you say that. You're welcome. Anybody else? Try one, Mom. Are they organic? We're trying to stay away from processed foods. Okay. No, thank you. See? Told you there we go. You guys are very good, thank you. You're welcome, dear. Fresh cookies are just what you need to get your wits about you. That's what my husband always says. All right, fine. Mmm. We're pretty good, I guess. The resort you're looking for is just down the road. Uh, turn uh, right at the junction and then a couple miles down. That's what I keep thinking. But then I, I hit this this fog, ma'am, and, well... Hmm. Just call me Nana. That's what everybody does. Uh, mighty kind of you, Nana. I'm Mike. You all look so exhausted. Why don't you just get your things from the van and come in and freshen up a bit? And then Mike can go find the resort and give me a call when he gets back. I do need to use the facilities. Good. When you get to the resort, just tell him to comp us on a night or two, and uh, just come back and get us. Okay. Sure, if that's what everyone wants. Yeah, why not? Sounds okay. good. Sure. I'll just have to tell my husband. I'm sure he won't mind. Please, everybody, come in. Great. It's settled then. You clearly need it, buddy. Let's get the bags. I have a card for you, Mike. I appreciate you helping me out. I'll call you as soon as... This... Is you? Drive safe, Mike. I'll have some cookies for you when you get back. We really appreciate your hospitality. Oh, it's no bother at all. I'm sorry. I'm not good at remembering names. My husband, he's the one that has the knack for remembering. Uh, well, I'm Dean Johns, and this is my wife, Sadie. And over there is our son, Andy. Oh, fine young man he's turning out to be. Thank you. We're trying our best. Nana, do you um, happen to have Wi-Fi here by any chance? I really need to check in with my office. You know, I should do the same. I've got all these reports I have to approve of. Oh, no, we don't have Wi-Fis here. This is our summer house. We try to keep work to a minimum, you know? Relax, exercise, enjoy nature. Oh, really? Mm. This was supposed to be a working vacation. A working vacation? Isn't that one of those oxymorons like jumbo shrimp or good grief? All I know is I spend more and more time at the office these days. Yeah, we have to stay busy just to keep treading water. Yeah, and Andy's off to college soon, so. Yeah. It's just the way it is. I see. Oh, 
Hey. I'm Constance. Brian. What'd he do? You really want to know? I asked, didn't I? I'm an engineer, specifically for non-traditional propulsion systems and their potential uses in the meteorological and aerospace sector. So, you're a... Rocket scientist. It's true. I have a meeting at JPL on Monday. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory? Is there any other place worth visiting in this granola state? I don't think so. I actually own a catering company with my sister Molly. I have to admit, I'm a huge science... I'm gonna get some more lemonade. I was still talking. What are you, a uh, photographer? <laughs> no, uh, just a hobby. I work at my parents' catering company with my sister. I make chicken on a stick. Oh, too bad. Like zombies? I <laughs> can't say I've thought about it that much. I'm Molly, by the way. I'm Andy. So, uh, do you go to college? No, maybe one day. You? Still in high school. What do you want to do? <laughs> Not what my parents do. What do they do? Honestly, I have no idea. That must be Mike. Made it to the resort. Hello? Hi, Mike. How are you? You have a lot of curious people here, so what's the good word? You made it to the resort, like I said. Good. Of course he did. What? The resort double booked for the weekend? And now your van won't start? Oh, dear. Oh, give me a break. I'm so going to sue these people. Brian, please. No, it's okay, Mike. Don't fret. Hang on a second. Why don't you guys all stay with us for the weekend? We have plenty of room, and we have all the amenities that resorts have. No use in delaying your vacation any longer. Yes. I wouldn't stay at the other place now if you would pay me. And trust me, they will pay. We wouldn't want to be any trouble, Nana. Oh, it's no trouble at all, like I said. Sounds okay to me. I guess we can make the best of this mess. Dean? Sadie? We'd love to, Nana. Wonderful. I'm so pleased that you're going to stay, and I know my husband is going to be so excited that you came to town. Mike, your guests are going to be staying with us for the weekend. Yeah, now what I want you to do is go get that van fixed, and give me a call on Sunday when you're going to pick up your guests. Wonderful. You're welcome. Bye. Well, I guess I should show you all to your room. Okay. All right. Let's go. better than the picture of that other place. Um, I don't suppose you have cable. We have a flat screen with a global satellite DVR downstairs in the family room. You're welcome to sleep on the couch if you'd like. I'm so moving in here. <laughs> My husband just loves winter sports, and I love the Italian cooking shows. Oh, speaking of cooking, I was going to make pasta tonight. Is that OK? OK. Yeah, sounds perfect. Thank you. Great. Well, make yourselves at home. You saw the family room downstairs, but whatever you do, do not delete any of Pop's TV shows. He gets a little bit cranky if you can't watch Luge. Okay. See you guys. Just a little unplanned spontaneity. Pretty natural. I hope this will suffice. You have your own bathroom, and there's little soaps underneath the counter. The shampoos, feel free to take them if you like. That's what I do, but don't tell. Dinner will be ready in a dip. Just let me know if you need anything. We will, thank you. I kind of thought this vacation was a bad idea. Though I wonder if she part with that cookie recipe. You know how big those would go over with our clients? That they would. Wow, this is pretty nice. 
I'm glad it meets your approval. Of course, we'll be have to charge you a standard room rate and expect payment before dinner. But, but I thought we uh... Gotcha. Kidding, Brian. You really do need to loosen up a bit. Dinner will be ready in an hour. Thanks, Nana. Just sit wherever you'd like. I'm just waiting for the pasta. It'll just take a minute. Hey, Pop! Dinner's ready. I'm sure our guests want to meet you. Come in, dear. Has anyone met the Lord of the Manor yet? He's been locked in the study all afternoon. What? The TV room's right next door. Hey, maybe he reads romance novels like Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted can read anything he'd like to. Yeah, except he likes to act out the parts in the book. Andy, not now, please. I just hope he's not a crank. Hello, Kettle. Hey. Welcome, everyone. Sorry I didn't introduce myself sooner, but I had a problem at the workshop I had to take care of. Even in the off-season, there could be challenges. <laughs> so. How is everyone doing? Good. Good. Well, I hope we show you a good time. Oh, my name's Pop. Oh, good. You finally came out to meet our guests. Just give me two more minutes. I hope everybody's hungry. Well, I am. How about you, Brian? How do you know my name? Well, I know everyone's name. Nana gave me a list. Uh, let's see. Uh... Checking it twice. Brian, Constance Molly, Andy, Sadie Dean. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well, I, I know you're all disappointed you didn't get to go to your resort, but we have beautiful grounds here you're welcome to take advantage of. And if you'd like, we could set up uh, some activities. You mean like games we can all join in? Oh, yes. Will some be excluded if their noses are too bright? You'll have to excuse Brian. Apparently, he thinks he's funny. Hey, I can speak for myself, lady. Uh, you can speak for yourself badly, sure. And I am no lady. I will kick your meatballs and sauce. I separated the meatballs from the sauce. I thought maybe some of you don't eat meat. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. Indeed. Now, would anybody like some wine? Yes. Yes, yes I need it. Please. Excuse me, Pop. Oh, yes, Andy. Has anyone ever mentioned you kind of look like Santa Claus? If he was younger and thinner? And Nathaniel John, please be kind to our host. I thought I was, Ma. Well, Andy, the truth is in the off season, Santa gets to swim lots of laps in his pool. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Who would care for bread? Yes, please. Thank you. Delicious. Boy, that was so good. And now I was so hungry. Thanks for helping me clean up, ladies. You're welcome. It was our pleasure. After a meal like that, it was the least we could do. Though the men can clean up tomorrow. I suppose. I thought about making a special feast tomorrow. I couldn't even think of eating again right now. Sounds good to me. I like it here. Well, if we're going to have a special meal, maybe we should make it a special night. What do you have in mind, Pop? Well, everyone seems to have Christmas on their mind. Why don't we exchange gifts? Put names in the hat. Like Secret Santa? Yes. No, no, it's kind of, but it has another name. White Elephant. That's it. We'll exchange gifts but no trading. It's been my experience that that's best done quietly after a holiday. Wait a minute. We're not exactly near a mall here. What am I supposed to get someone? A fistful of sticks? Maybe an evening with your sparkling personality. It's a gift that keeps on giving. 
Why don't we just make each other stuff? Like arts and crafts. Oh, please. I like that idea. It's like summer Christmas. You know, it is a thought that matters, right? Very true. And to that end, I'm going to disqualify myself in the sense that I am going to give a present to everyone. That's awfully generous, sir. Well, not really, Dean. You see, I consider myself something of an expert on giving the perfect gift. Of course you do. So, Christmas summer it is. I will tear up the names list and put your name on it, Nana. And we'll put them in the hat. This is gonna be so much fun. Perfect. Oh, you got me then. Huh? I prefer cash or gold coins. It's not you, which means my summer Christmas wish already came true. Problem? Uh, no. It's gonna be easy. What about me? Very funny. Well, that's everyone. We'll exchange gifts before dinner, and if anyone needs any gift advice, I'm available. Cause you have a sack full of ideas. <laughs> Good night, ladies. Good night, Nana. I'm just down the hall if you need anything. Thanks for a lovely evening. I picked Nana's name for the not really white elephant thing. Who'd you get? Brian. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. Maybe you could get him a tool, since he has one. Really? He seemed to like you. Me. Uh, one, how could you tell? And two, are you kidding me? I'm just saying. Well, maybe you could help me make some Dutch apple pies for dinner. We can make extra and they could freeze them. There's a tree out back, they'd be fresh. I actually thought I might take some pictures. Come on, Molly, give it a rest. We've got a huge fall season coming up and I need your help. I know, Connie, Yeah, but... we have a responsibility to mom and dad's dream. I can't do it by myself. And you going off on some pipe dream thinking you're gonna make a living as a photographer, it's just crazy. I know, I'll just take a few and then help you with the pies. You're sure you didn't have anything to do with bringing them here? It is what it is, dear. Regardless, I'm glad they're here. They all seem very nice. Hello, Andy. Anything good on TV? Do you have channels? I've never even heard of them. What can I say? I'm a world traveler. 
I dig those crazy Bollywood movies, though. They sing and dance through everything, even the fight scenes. I love the colors myself. Do you mind? And I love these modern conveniences. Curling World Championships are on today. Do you uh, like curling? Broom puck. That's what I called it when I was a kid. Oh, I see. Mom and Dad and I, we took a trip to Canada one Christmas. And it was the best time I ever had. Like, I really thought it was cool being there with them. I mean, how dumb is that? Doesn't sound dumb at all. It was my decision, too. Dad said we were going somewhere, and for me to close my eyes and point at a map. Winnipeg, Canada. <laughs> it's a bit chilly up there, isn't it? I've never been so cold in my life. But I didn't care. We, we were on an adventure. Well, I know this weekend won't be uh, much fun. Oh no, it's, it's great. This is the first time my folks have done anything like this and I don't even know. And might as well be the last. Hang in there, Andy. You know, maybe we can get in some broom puck this weekend. That'd be cool. Good night, Andy. Good night, Pop. I hope he wasn't in trouble. Nope. Sorry. Your boy is clearly a menace. What did he do? I'm so sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Sadie. He's lovely. So, coffee is brewing in the kitchen. Pop and I, we get up really early, so please make yourself at home. Okay. Relax, dear. You're on vacation. Good morning, Molly. Morning, Pop. I didn't know you had a dog. Kenyon, he's a bit wolfy, a bit laid back. Takes it easy during the summer like Nana and I do, or try to anyway. Sounds lovely. It is. You're up early. I was just taking some pictures before my sister got up. I have to help her later. She doesn't like pictures? Not when I take them, no. <laughs> Are you that bad? Get your thumb in the picture? I've ruined many shots with these button pushers. No, it's not like that. Can I see some? You have them in the camera, don't you? Oh, yeah, of course. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. Could I have a copy of that one? I have a, a photo printer in my office if it's not too much trouble. Oh, of course not. It's the least I can do. You really like it? You're very gifted, Molly. You really are. You know, I was just struck with a thought. You might be able to help me. You'd have to keep a secret. Are you up to it? You bet, Pop. Oh, that coffee smells divine. It is. So I'm probably not supposed to tell you this, but I'm your secret Santa. And I was thinking about making a few Dutch apple pies for you. Noticed the trees out there, did you? I did. And I also was kind of looking around, and it looks like you have everything me and my sister would need to make a few. That sounds lovely. And I promise, I won't tell anybody. Tell anyone what? Uh, the coffee. It's great. Oh, I see. Is that all your recipes? Indeed. I saved the best recipes since, uh, well, let's just say it seems like a very long time. You think I could borrow one? Your chocolate chip cookies? I'd use them for good and not evil. I'm sure you would, but I really hate to be mean, but my grandmother gave me this recipe, and it's kind of like a family heirloom. I understand. They're just really good. No problem, dear. Need a few things for dinner. Ouch. How does it feel to be shot down in flames? I'm positive you know better than I do. Sorry. Okay, 
I haven't played this in forever. I thought it would be fun. What kind of games do you like, Dean? Tennis, badminton, chess? I have a garage full of things I don't get to take out very often. Man, I used to love all that stuff. Used to? Yeah, but now with work and the economy being what it is... Things are tough. Feels like I have to work twice as hard to get half the reward. With the economy and corporate culture. You know, there's this kid in my office. Well, I, I say kid, he's 25 years old. He has no family, he works weekends, he can travel at a moment's notice. If I want to make VP before I retire, I gotta compete with him. And what if you don't? Well, I'll either lose my job, or I'll be scrubbing out his executive bathroom. Take some advice from someone with a little success and global corporate identity. Take some time up for yourself. If you don't, you'll never be satisfied and neither will those around you. I hear what you're saying, but I've been running on this hamster wheel so hard for so long, I don't think I could get off even if I wanted to. Oh, it's easier than you think. You have a great son and wife to help you. Yeah, but we're both struggling right now and Andy's about to go off to college. The only reason we're here is because this conference I was supposed to go to in Santa Barbara was canceled last minute due to some kind of freakish weather incident. Well, I, I, would, I would take that as a sign, Dean. I really would. I hope we have a chance to relax while you're here. Thank you. I appreciate that. You mind me asking what it is that you do? Oh, I'm in distribution. Nana, what's all this? Just a few people that expressed an interest in a spirited game of croquet. No, I didn't. Ryan. Right. Where's my racket? The rules are very simple. You hit your ball through the gates to the post at the end, and then back to this post, first ball in, their team wins. And if someone hits your ball, you can totally hose them and bash their balls next week. I believe the word is roquet, Andy, but I admire your flair for the language. Now, I'll be a referee, so you choose the teams. How about boys against girls? If you think you can handle the embarrassment. I was born to be embarrassed. I, I mean, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Whatever. Care to make it interesting? What do you have in mind? A little wager? You're on. Gambling? Really, guys? Come on, Dad, it's just for fun. Andy, don't contradict your father. All right, all right. We'll keep it simple for the genteel among us. How about loser does the dishes? Well, I'm doing the cooking, so I don't do them either way. <laughs> OK. I don't know. I mean, Dean's got a point, but I guess it's up to him. I don't know about this, guys. Come on! Don't chicken out on me. You're in my team. Yeah, come on, Dad. Let's go then. It'll be fun. Hey, yeah, why not? Lose it, does yeah! it. Come on. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, oh, you got start your mallets. All right. Whoa. Center. Oh, now I gotta go to the center. All right. So, here we go. Oh, this one's a little hard. Go, Nana. Oh, this one's a little hard. Go, Nana. Well, you have two. I got two. Knock it up a little position. bit on the first one. There you go, right there, right there. All right. Now, right in the center. Okay. Ah! There you go. Good setup. Got the eye the tiger. Nice. Yeah. I can roll over there. One more. I didn't hit you over there. Hey, Calvin, I got three. You get the two. One, you get a shot for each hoop. Yeah! Oh! Nice! Yeah. <clears throat> you get another shot. To the center. Okay. Come on. Don't mess up. I'll try and do as good as you, Brian. I know. <laughs> but I haven't excused my stick bro. <laughs> I've heard that one before. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Oh, Yay. Oh, come on. Now, good. Next. One more shot. 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 One more Okay, next. All right, my turn. That's right. That's right. All right. You know what? You go first. You go first for us, okay? Yeah. All right. 
Come on, Brian. What happens yeah. when you go past it? You have to go around it? You have to go, have to go, go around it. Oh, okay. Does she have two go? How many goes this time? Just one. Oh, just one. Just one. Oh, oh, just one. Oh, one. Oh, 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 sorry, man. I'm sorry, girls. You're shorter anyway. The umpire. The umpire says he can. Oh! oh I don't want to use my mouth. Oh, we were friends. All right. So what I do now? Go back here and hit it through here. Yep, yep, How many shots? One shot. What? Bend it. Curl it. What do you think? Bend it. All the way. Go to position. Don't hit the blue one. Not the blue one. Oh! Yay! <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I can't move my ball. <laughs> no. Okay, back here. No, I think what you have to do is move it right over here so you can knock it through. No, I. Yeah. No, that so was good because now, now you got a clean shot. Right? There's orange. Oh, good. Okay. It's your turn, I think, Andy. Come on, son. Show them what you made of. I want to see the boy you like with this. I want the strong. Didn't you all come up? Did you? Not. Nice! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so, huh. do I have to go back? I just like, you, hit it somewhere. You want to hit it the somewhere yeah, way Yeah, and then that's about it. Right. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, oh it's in the hole. Oh. Oh. Don't yes. be like me. Don't be yes. like me. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. You go through right. to the right. To the right. To the center. To the, to the center, right. To the right. To the far post. To the far post. Come back. Come back. To, to the, the right. Center. Okay, and then to the right. Our left. Our left. Center. Here. Holy cow. And back. I have to do all that. All that. Come on, Good Sadie. Luck. All right. Hey, let's go. Let's go. For the girls. Here we go. No. <coughs> do I hit it sideways or Anywhere forward? Anywhere you want. Anywhere. Oh. Usually, usually hit it with yeah. the end. Come on. Oh, that's cheating. That's yeah. What? Cheating. What? It's perfect, thank you very much. Okay, you get two shots now. All right. Let's see here. That's the way. Out. Good. Next. Uh, one, more shot. one more shot. One more shot. One more shot. I get one more. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm not very good at this. Okay, you gotta get it back around. Yep. You come back around. You could do it. Now, I think the red one belongs to a, you know what they say, a boy. Uh, well, uh, you know, one shot. <laughs> come on, son. Show them what you're made of. How about me? Show them what okay, John's okay, are made of. That was good. High five. <laughs> How about a little? <laughs> Do you love doing dishes or what? Here, I'll do, I know what you're talking about, and then I'll... Yeah. it away. All right, let's do it. After seeing Brian's display, I would not hit it too hard. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> well done, well done. Thank you. But what, what about me? Nobody... <laughs> uh, what about me? What about... Poor thing. What about me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, ladies. Let's see what you got. No. Okay, come on, Connie. Yeah, Connie. Like this? Go, Connie. There you go. go two Connie. shots. Oh, 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 there. Not too hard. Not too hard. There you go. There you go. All right. Get now, right through. Right through. The referee is, is hard of hearing. Oh, hey. First guy, Andy. Mean beauty boy. Beautiful beauty, son. Come on. What else? 
Oh man, what is this? I'm a tiger. <laughs> he learned this from his mother, not his father. Uh-huh. Now you know. Nice, good job. <laughs> but look, if I if I hit her ball, it's gonna go in, so uh, Go for it, man. Don't hit the side of it. Come on, do your mom a favor. Do your mom a favor. Yeah! yeah! That's not in! That's not in! That's not in! That is not in! How do I get free? You get a free hit. Do you know how to do this? What do I do? I hit Which the ball. Which is your ball? The red one. You get to take her ball and oh. put yours anywhere around it. Oh. You put your foot you on your ball uh, and hit it's your ball. He's on outside. And the concussion. <laughs> oh my god. Here, I'll, I know what you're talking about. The and then I'll. Knock it away. All right, let's do it. And you can knock it any direction you want. She's my mom. Come on, Dad, we can win this thing. Yeah, just just don't choke. Take your time. Don't jinx him. F forget what I said. Just don't mess up, okay? Fun, I don't want to do the dishes. Just don't mess up. Come on, Dean. Don't mess up. Oh. No! You jinxed my dad! You jinxed my dad! You have my chance. This is my chance. This is not the only this was your no, shot. Leave him alone. You had it. Come on. Whoa. Okay, come on, Sadie. Go, Sadie. Go, Sadie. Go, Sadie. Got this. <coughs> Awesome. I'm your secret Santa. Wow. Oh. That's really game for you. I hope you like your gift. There's sandwiches in the kitchen if anybody's hungry. Mm. Starving. Kicking your behind made me hungry. Ouch. Yeah, I'm famished. I'm gonna get some food, okay? Oh. All right, Mom? Yeah, I'm okay. You gonna get a sandwich? Um, in a minute. Good game. Thanks. You get any good pictures? I did. Can I see them? Sure. Wow. It's cool you're a photographer. Oh, I'm not a photographer. You could afford me. You know, my sister, she's runs, not that. Runs your life? No. There you go. Hi, Pop. Do you mind if I sit down? Oh, please do. Thank you. Um, I guess I need some help with this whole uh, gift-giving thing. That's my specialty. I'm supposed to get Dean a gift. That's sweet. Yeah, well, he already got me his. He did? Yeah. He threw the croquet game. He said that was his gift to me, and he did it on purpose. What, what, that's... Thoughtless, self-absorbed, patronizing. This isn't necessarily about the croquet match, is it? No, we're, we're not the people we used to be, um, or even wanted to be. All we do is work, or think about work, or talk about work. I'm sick of it. Oh, you're both too hard on yourselves. I saw you out there having fun together. Yeah, yeah, that was fun, and I, I miss that. I miss it a lot. I was just struck with an idea. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. You don't have to do it, but please, think about it. Okay, it can't hurt. It really is beautiful here. I'm jealous. Pop and I are sure lucky. I'm just glad that we could share it once in a while. Molly, 
I need your help in the kitchen? I know, Connie. If you knew, you would stop wasting time taking pictures. We owe it to our hosts. Come on. It's lovely just having you both here. If you could just get your head in the game, that'd be great. Okay. I'll be done in a minute. I helped raise her when her parents passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. That couldn't have been easy. It wasn't. But we have their catering business that they started. It was their dream. And it's really successful. It's just so much work. And I have all these ideas to grow the business. But Well, I'm sure your parents are very proud. I just, I wish Molly appreciated everything I've done for her. Oh, she does. Everybody has to find their own way. She just has a lot of growing up to do. Don't we all? Hey, Molly. You wanna go swimming in the hot tub? No thanks, Andy. Maybe later. Okay. Hey, Pop, you want to go swimming or can you show me how the hot tub works? Sure, Randy. Right, give me a moment. Did you have some work? Okay. Hey, Brian, you want to go swimming or you want to go in the hot tub? Nope, I hate the water. Oh, because uh, Nana was looking for someone to peel potatoes. Love the water. Let's go. All right, wait, we just have to wait for Pop. Oh. Is he in there? Yeah, he's just finishing up some work. Have you been in there? No. Good, let's check it out. Okay. Okay, boys, ready to go. Sorry I was uh, working on your gifts. <laughs> Great idea for a soak, boys. Thank you. No problem. Gets us out of working in the kitchen. Well, before we have to anyway. Hey, I don't care if we have to do the dishes. I'm having fun. Well, I'm glad to hear that. What? Oh, I'm sure it's much nicer than the other place. I mean, it's really nice of you letting us stay here. Our pleasure. I'm glad to see you're getting along so well with all the others. Do you have a girlfriend? A girlfriend? No. Because you and Connie, I'm just saying. Are you insane? She's the most irritating woman I've ever met. Anyway, what do a kid and an old, older man know about anything? No offense. None taken. Some taken. Jeez. Do you think she likes me? I've seen my share of courting rituals, and I would definitely say that you're in one of the stages of one of the most elementary. I have no idea what you just said. Does she like me, or does she not like me? If I were a magic eight ball, I would say all signs point to yes. Hmm. What about you? What about me? I'm just a kid. Oh, come on. You're 17 going on 40. Just answer the question. Does she like me or does she not like me? Yeah. I think she likes you. Hmm. So what should I do? I'd try being a bit less strident and a tad more affectionate. You don't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> you mean stop being such a crank and throw her a biscuit. Biscuit? Yeah, give her something nice. You know, write her a little love note. Works for me. Works for you. Oh, please. You have a lot of girlfriends. I do all right.
I think I'm heading back inside. No matter what, Brian, stay true to yourself and who you are under that surly top layer. That surly layer. Exactly. It adds mystery. <laughs> you guys are messing with me, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, you got too much! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can leave if you want to sleep some more. No, it's okay. <clears throat> Sadie, are you okay? I just had a lot on my mind. Yeah, me too. Now the conference has been canceled. It's gonna be a lot of traveling to catch up on. I still gotta sort out the problem with that server. Yeah. Well, I want to go down and see if they need any help setting up for dinner. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I need your help. It's incredibly immature and rude to our host not to help out. I am helping them. How? You're just thinking about yourself. I don't understand you. I know you don't understand me. That's the problem. That's the problem. See, I thought the problem was you not wanting to grow up. You won't let me. What is that supposed to mean? You've had my entire life planned ever since mom and dad died. And don't get me wrong, I am grateful for everything, but I can't do it anymore. Well, I'm sorry for interfering in your grand plans. I'm sorry for caring about your well-being. It's not what I meant. Well, when you figure out what you meant, get back to me. Son, how was your soak? It was great. Good. You look angry. Say something nice. Hey, uh, you look pretty. What did that mean? I don't think it was good. I'm gonna go check on dinner. Bye, Pop. Hey, wanna see what we're getting? No. Wanna be naughty? No. Great, let's go. Come on. Where's Constance? She stormed in, and then she stormed right out. Her apple pie smelled divine, though. What's the matter, dear? I thought everything was going well, but now I'm not so sure. Not that you had any stake in any of our guests' lives, right? How's dinner coming? Great. Roast is in the oven, and the sides are all done. About 90 more minutes? I'll go tell the others. We'll do the gift exchange before dinner. OK, I'll be ready. I'll go see who's outside. OK. I don't think we should be in here. Well, up, kiddo. Wow. Take a look at this. Look at all these. He thinks he's Santa Claus. Then what did that mean? What? What? Spill the beans. I overheard Nana and Pop talk last night, and Nana asked Pop if he, if 
you had anything to do with bringing us here. Wow. This guy's too much. I mean, they had to be talking about something else, right? Right. Forget, forget I said anything. I gotta go get ready for dinner. Hmm. So, did everyone have a chance to get a gift? I thought we might have our little exchange before dinner. Uh, if you need more time or need some gift advice... Maybe we should just skip the whole gift exchange. I thought everyone was excited, at least a little bit. Uh, it's just a little weird. What do you mean? Andy and I went to Pop's study. And there is a lot of pictures of him in there dressed like Santa Claus. With deer and elves and... <laughs> no offense, but you're just a little too into this. Oh, I can explain, Brian. Andy, what were you doing in Pop's study? He wasn't doing anything. Calm down. The matter at hand is, I want to know if Pop brought us here. Brian. Andy overheard Pop saying something like, he brought us here on purpose. That's not what he said. What's going on here? Yeah, Pop. What's going on? I'd just like this cleared up. Please. Everyone, please. I never meant to deceive. That wasn't my intent. Then what was your intent? You have to have an open mind when I say this. Besides Pop, I'm known by many different names in many different languages. Sinterklaas, Papa Noel, Father Christmas, Saint Nicholas. You know me best as Santa Claus. <laughs> you think you're Santa Claus? But I am Santa Claus, and my wife is Mrs. Claus. Mary Claus, at your service. You are both delusional. That is so sad. You don't have to believe. But I would hope that our words and deeds would speak for themselves. That, that's crazy. No, it's not. Molly, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I agree with what Pop said. Pop and Nana have been nothing but generous and kind to all of us. Yeah, and they lied to us. You know, I don't think we should be here. Dean? Why not? Andy, this is an adult discussion. <laughs> so why don't you let me know when the adults show up, and then I'll be quiet. Andy. You're skating on thin ice. Andy, your mom and dad mean well. Who are you to judge us? I'm not judging you. I want to help you. Help us do what? Be crazy? Brian, that's not fair. Molly has been acting like a child since the minute we got here. That's not true. Look, I don't know what these people said to you, but... Yeah. What are you saying to these people? Stay out of my business, little man. I was just trying don't to... Don't bother. You know, uh, I think it's time we leave. Don't you think you're being a bit harsh? Don't be so wishy-washy, Sadie. Seriously. OK. You make the decisions, and usually you leave us out of it. Come on, Andy. Sadie, that's not what I meant. Sadie. Sadie, come on. You know that's not what I meant. Sadie. I'm out of here, too. You're all nuts as far as I'm concerned. Let me know when you grow up. Oh no, the roast! Hi. Would you like something to eat, dear? I brought sandwiches for everyone. Seems like they're all gonna be staying, at least till tomorrow anyway. No one tried to walk out? Well, Brian thought about it, but he likes my cooking too much. I messed up, dear. Go ahead, tell me about it. I brought them here. I know. I, I wish I could grant every Christmas wish I get. But you can't. 
I can give toys, I can put a smile on a child's face, I can foster cherished family memories, but I can't do it all. There are things I can't control. But that's life, Pop. I mean, even for someone that has a few hundred years of Christmas magic under their belt. They all have unfulfilled Christmas wishes. Sadie, Dean, Molly, Constance, Brian, Andy. They all have a big goose egg next to their name in the ledger. I just want to clear up the accounts. Clean out the books a little bit? Yeah, but they're, they're adults now. They're set in their ways. They're, they're resistant to... A little Christmas magic? Yeah. I should have told you much earlier. I told you everything. I'm sorry, dear. I really messed things up. You know why I love you so much, Pop? Because you don't give up on people. Not even those poor souls that are on the naughty list. And you find each and every single day is a chance to grow, to change, to find a little happiness. I know you're not going to give up on people here, nor anywhere else. But if I could just find a way to convince them. Well, you said it yourself. If children are more accepting, Perhaps you just need to find the child in each one of them. I love you, Nana. I love you too, Pop. Now, get to work, clean those books out. I wanted to speak with all of you. What you do after that is entirely up to you. Okay. Go ahead. Andy, will you please read this? Sure. Dear Santa, my name is Andy Johns. This is my letter. Yes, it is, Andy. That's Andy's handwriting. That's the actual letter. I, I remember when he wrote that, he was just so proud. How do you have that? How is that even possible? Andy, please go on reading. My mom and dad and me had the bestest Christmas ever in Canada last year. It was, it was so much fun and for this year and every year after, I want to have that much fun again. And that my mom and dad have that much fun. I like them to have fun too. Thanks. Your pal Andy. Wait, there's something else written in here. That's mom's handwriting. <laughs> I remember when I wrote that, I was just kidding. I. I... What does it say? P.S. Santa. Please make it possible to love my mad, impetuous lug of a husband just a little more. Sadie. I've been hanging on to that letter for the last 10 years, hoping to be able to sign off on the Christmas wish inside. But I haven't been able to. In fact, Dean, you've been working six of the last eight holidays and say to you, the last two. I had to. What do you care anyway? Dean, I am Santa Claus. There is no letter, no wish, no request too small, too seemingly intangible. I just wanted you to believe in yourselves as a family and as people. It is the greatest gift you can give each other. Believe me. I need to take a walk. Dean, wait. I'm your secret Santa, and uh, my gift to you is to tell you something. I haven't told you in far too long, and uh, I know we have problems communicating, and, and we're not happy. 
more fun. I love you, Dean. And I believe in you. And us. And uh, I want to do whatever it takes to make it work. I know you do. I love you too, Sadie. I want to thank you for letting me... Just get to what you wanted to say. Would you please read this? Why? You know what? Never mind. Let's just get this over with. Dear Santa, I am 11 years old and too old to believe in you. But my mom is making me write this for my sister Molly. This is my letter. Yes. You wrote it 20 years ago. Please, go on. She's one years old and too young to write herself. Mom says I should ask for a dolly or a stuffed penguin, but maybe you can make her grow up faster and help me do my chores. I hope Mom doesn't read this. Connie Perkins. Molly, do you please read this? Dear Santa, my name is Molly Perkins and I'm nine years old. I am writing to you because my mom is sick and I want her to get better. Also, my sister Connie takes care of me and my mom and works so hard at it. I love her and would do anything to see her happy. Thanks, Molly. Two little girls that had to grow up way too soon. They both owed some Christmas magic. And I hope that you can find that solace in each other. I love you. I'm sorry for everything. I want the business to succeed and I want you to succeed, and I want to help you. I love you, Connie. Mom and Dad would be so proud of you. Thank you for taking a moment, Brian. This is just for novelty value, believe me. Did you Photoshop these? They look pretty good if you did. Brian, will you read this? Sure. What the heck? Dear Santa, my name is Brian Raglan, and I'm seven years old. What is this? How did you get this? I wrote this. I know. Please. My mom and dad are broken. I got divorced that year. Both of them said I could have anything I wanted from you. And I want a peekaboo Mysterio flying saucer with omnidirectional laser turret action. If I had one, the other kids wouldn't make fun of me. I just know it. Please, Santa. I didn't get one. You didn't get me one. I should have, and I'm sorry. But you should know that that toy, the Peekaboo Mysterio Flying Saucer with omnidirectional laser turret movement, it doesn't exist. Of course it did. I remember every detail of it. I'm sure you do. It exists in the imagination of a little boy who was hurting very badly at that point of life. That is not true. 
What about the Saturn rocket with the realistic decals and the one stage booster you got me the next year? The Saturn rocket had two stages and a parachute in the nose that, well, never quite properly deployed. How about some quality control? And contrary to popular belief, the realistic decals weren't. How do you know all this? I know my toys, Brian. All right. How many rolls of caps came in the Texas Pete Deputy Sheriff Fun Kit? 48 shots per roll, and there was a Texas Longhorn emblazoned on the stock. What color were the walkie-talkies in the Secret Agent Spy Kit? Black. It had a red button, had a range of 30 yards. Wrong. They barely worked 30 feet. My friend Joey swore he could never hear me. <laughs> Your friend Joey never put the antenna up all the way. I knew it. I kept telling him. Whatever. How many skulls were hidden in Dr. Acula's spooky laboratory place? 16. Wrong. There were only 15. Everyone always forgets about Dr. Acula's hypno medallion. Oh. That one. Brian, you were hurting when your parents got divorced and you never wanted that to happen again. <laughs> you were on my naughty list for years. My parents treated each other so badly. But they were hurting too. But they never should have put that on you. You, you closed down your heart because it was easier to close down and keep people out than to let them in and maybe have them hurt you. But I believe, Brian, that you want to let someone in. I, I wouldn't know where to start. You could start with the Peekaboo Mysterio. Did it ever occur to you that you became an engineer so that one day you could create that toy that you had created in your imagination so very long ago? But I, I don't make toys. You make wonderful things that help mankind, things that one day will inspire a child to great heights. Brian, this is gonna sound corny, but if you can open your heart, your creativity, Peekaboo Mysterio will follow. You know, your gift was so much better than mine. I had a little help. You know, if Santa says we should believe in each other, then maybe we should. I really want to make this work. I really want to try. Okay. Cornstarch. Cornstarch. Uh, Brian, can I help you? Do you have any cornstarch, Nana? Or should I say Mrs. Claus? Nana is fine. Great. And um, toothpicks. And maybe a small rotary fan assembly, like something you find in a processor unit. OK, you lost me at toothpicks, but I do have cornstarch in the pantry. Great. Should I ask what you're making? Maybe history, Nana. Well, then I'll let you to it. If you need anything, just let me know. You should know that I was your secret Santa, and I wanted to make sure that you get this present. Oh, thank you. Nice wrap job. Wow. Thank you, Nana. I know you know computers and interludes, but there's nothing quite like a good book. 
especially one that's going to help you find wherever you want to go. I agree. This is awesome. Give Nana a hug. I'm a hugger. Come here, Nana. Andy, can we talk to her a minute? Sure. We want to apologize for, for being so wrapped up in ourselves and, you know, forgetting what's important. We're not saying old habits are going to die easy, but we decided to work on believing each other and supporting each other a little bit more. And that includes you. Sounds good to me. I'm going to hold you to that. Both of you. Don't make me write Santa again. Okay. Anyway, to that end, I've decided we're going to go somewhere nice this Christmas. Anywhere you want. So I just want you to pick a place on a map, and we're there. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I'll tell you both later. Brian, did you stay up all night? I did. And I feel great. Look at this. Wow, that's impressive. What is it? It's a peekaboo Mysterio. But it's also a crude prototype for an inexpensive self-propelled meteorological craft that can be easily replicated and has the potential to revolutionize climate data retrieval. Well, you lost me at toothpicks, but as long as you're excited, I'm excited. I thought I'd make one final breakfast for everybody before the van comes. Yes, please. I'm done here. I'm just going to clean up, OK? Morning, Anna. Morning, dear. Hi. Hi. I wasn't sure if we were doing the gift thing, but I kind of took your gift anyway. Wow, this is great. How did you know I like rockets? My sister mentioned it. She's a huge sci-fi nerd and got a bunch of these at NASA's JPL, but she doesn't know it's gone, so if you could keep it a secret. Of course. Your sister is a sci-fi nerd? Yeah, she loves all that space stuff. She wanted to see where they built the Mars rover. That's how she agreed to come on the trip. You don't say. But if you could keep it between us, she can be kind of touchy. You don't say. Thanks. Anna, can I ask you a favor? My God, that was like the best breakfast I've had in ever. Thank you, Nana. My pleasure. And I'd also like to say something to Pops. Say no more. Anyone, please. And I had my say last night. I really wish each of you the very best in all that you do. And now it's time for me to give my presence, thanks to the help of the very talented Molly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, Molly, these are great. This is really good. Yes, thank you. Maybe you could do our family portrait someday. I'd like that. Awesome. Glad you got the shot of me you were looking for. Molly, I almost forgot. I'm your secret Santa. And just a uh, flash drive, so you know I put my junk off there so you can put your photos on there and show them to people. Thank you, Andy. Yeah. Oh, and also if you take photos of zombies, you know I want copies. 
<laughs> Will do. He's a really beautiful Molly. Mom and Dad would be really proud of you. And you have to keep doing this. You've, you've got to follow your passion. This is your gift. I'm sorry, I was, I was too blind to see it. No more meat on a stick for you. But, no buts, I'll make it work and so will you. What, a, what about me? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> what is that thing? It's a, it's a prototype for an inexpensive, self-propelled meteorological craft that can be easily replicated and has the potential to revolutionize climate data retrieval. So would it fly vertically and horizontally with jump jet technology? Yes. Wow. Are you interested in this sort of thing? Maybe. Well, look, check this out. You see these four guys? Uh-huh. The little rockets. No way. Yeah, little guys. That's so and that cool. Guy. Cool. See this thing. This one's over here. Okay. Mike is on the way. The van will be here in five minutes. Um, here you go. I was your secret Santa. Oh, I didn't expect anything. What is it? Nana's chocolate chip cookie <gasps> recipe. <gasps> you didn't steal this, did you? Would you be more or less impressed if I had? I'm just kidding. No, she gave it to you and to me with her blessing. Santa's secret cookie. What's that? That's what I'll call them. These alone will get me so many jobs. Good. I'm glad. So, tell me more. About? What do you do? Who are you? What do you like? You really want to know? I asked, didn't I? Thank you, Molly, for the tips. Much appreciated. No, Pop. Thank you. Sorry for everything. I promise, I know how to get to the airport. <laughs> okay. Right. Things happen. Strange things happen. Sometimes, you just gotta go with it, Mikey, old boy. Here you are, my friend. Enjoy. Thanks. What is this? A gift from your secret Santa. But you're not secret. Your wife gave me your card. Oh, true enough. You are Santa and Miss Claus, aren't you? But don't expect to be seeing us for a while. Did you guys make that fog? Uh, let's keep that one a secret. Same thing happened to a reindeer of mine that had some uh, steam issues. Okay. Looks like your travelers are ready to go. Thanks. Last picture, everyone. Smile. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So that's the story about how we found Santa's summer house. It sounds a little strange, probably because it is. But if you ever find yourself in the middle of a mysterious fog, then the best Christmas you ever have might just be a summer in California. <laughs>